At first I was wondering where this question sprung from within. Then reading some of the answers provided I recognized how the plight of the empath is often experiencing the minimizing and dismissal of one's innermost questions, feelings, and experiences from other people. This doesn't have to be the case. Yet, it's often the case for some time until you recognize a pattern of attracting and drawing and befriending individuals who are often dismissive, controlling, angry, or lack a deep understanding of emotional intelligence. It's having the awareness that they don't do this to you. They do this with everyone, including themselves. You may be more patient with them than others. In fact, you definitely are. This pattern can create and reinforce patterns of self-pity in the empath. You may experience yourself as isolated, lonely, and misunderstood. Then a lot of complaining can take place, inwardly and outwardly. There is a deep hurt in this experience. The greatest difficulty of the empath is releasing the subtle righteousness that inwardly, subtly whispers, people should be different than how they are. It's a form of righteousness in disguise. Let it all go. People can be just the way they are and you can choose to spend time with the people who let you be just the way you are. This is real and exists in this world. To do this requires you embracing who you are, sensitivity, joy, flaws, victories and all. It's made more real and exists more fully when more people awaken and demonstrate this in their own lives. You can be happy. Yet being happy requires the skills of happiness, of feeling good about feeling good. This can be demonstrated through the inner connection to a willingness to love people just the way they are. When you love someone just the way they are you discover who they really are and then you discover their personality and then you discover whether or not you like their personality. The difficulty with an empath is that they often see who some really is. They see all the love and potential and joy and beauty in there. Then they make excuses for the personality which covers up all this beauty, wisdom, and perfection, and love. Yet in this world most people are interacting through the personality which has covered up all the love and beauty and perfection. People argue with personalities. The empath simply refuses to see it. The empath's greatest challenge is honoring the personality and loving people just the way they are. It's honoring the personality, not trying to change the personality, get the personality to see what they see, control the personality, heal the personality, pathologize the personality, etc. If the personality is not to your liking, move on. Find someone who's a better fit for you, be it in friendship or romance. Until the recognition and inner strength comes to be more conscious of who you're allowing into your life, who you're sharing your time with, and how you want to be treated by other people, you may find yourself with people who treat you like a helpless child. You may find yourself within friendships that don't appear to reflect back a mutual understanding of who you are and who they are. You may find people who lack the emotional intelligence and freedom within themselves to empathize and understand and be with themselves and others in a more kind and loving and supporting way. Empaths are so highly sensitive that it becomes very important to embrace this inner sensitivity and protect it by using it with yourself. Gaining the skills of cultivating relationships with people that reflect back your emotional intelligence and availability is joy made realized in your life. It's genuine truth manifesting itself through you. It's a deep and profound connection of what I call living love. As an empath I receive empathy and understanding in return from the relationships I have with other people in my private life. I experience deep and profound understanding from those around me. I also share that deep and profound understanding with others. It took a lot of inner work to get to this place where I said, no, to those whose time of need was all the time, who failed to understand and empathize with not just me, but others as well. It took willingness to emerge from self-pity and move into truth within myself. It's not for the faint of heart but it can be done. I consider it the most rewarding work on the planet. Then there will come a time when you don't need empathy from others because you have it for yourself. When you have genuine empathy and compassion for yourself, individuals inherently know how to treat you. They treat you the way they observe you treating yourself. They treat you this way because they experience the rewards of such treatment. In the loving they share with you, they also receive of their loving. In the kindness they receive through you they also receive of their own kindness. We love people in this world because it brings forward the comfort and warmth within ourselves. If it doesn't bring forward this comfort, joy, wisdom, and warmth within ourselves, then it's not loving people. It's not giving, it's taking and trying to get something. This is natural. We all want something in our lives. 
We all want people to see us and love us and be with us. Yet empaths are designed to give. They're designed to learn how to be smart and wise in their giving. They're designed to learn, grow, and actualize. The greatest barrier to this growth is other people. The secret hope is other people will see the empath as the empath sees all. We must give it up. When you see yourself, the world will see you too. When you cease trying to get people to see you, you will find you are seeing people as they are and honoring them as they are. You won't want to get anything from anyone because the source of everything you need is within you. You become a giver of all love, light, and joy. You are happiness wholly embodied. You're worth it. You are deeply loved and cherished. So consider this, if not everyone in your life is happy to see you, lights up when you arrive, and glad to hear from you, then consider who's in your life, what do you bring, and be honest with yourself about what you'd like to receive. Make a list of what you'd like to receive in your life. Then cease from trying to go out and get it from someone in the world out there. It will never work. Go inside yourself and find these qualities within you. They are there. They are who you really are. Own it. Claim it. Live within it. You are so full to overflowing. You are abundant.